Done with your brew? What about the grounds? Do you trash them, chuck them, or rub them all over your body and raise an army of worms? If you think your coffee's all used up, you ain't seen nothing yet. Nobody enjoys being outside with wasps, mosquitoes, and ants. And if you have a garden, these types of pests can really put a damper on your green thumb. Thankfully, there's a solution. I am the super mother bug! A 2015 study showed that mosquitoes were not only repelled by coffee, but also harmed by it. It should be noted, though, that testing involved a highly concentrated coffee extract. Sprinkling coffee grounds in the dirt probably won't keep your yard mosquito-free, but that doesn't mean you can't use those grounds to keep other pests at bay. Coffee grounds can also deter ants, slugs, and other insects that eat garden plants and vegetables. Simply lining the affected area with wet coffee grounds is enough to keep bugs out of the area. If you've been looking for a way to reduce your waste and help heal the environment, composting is a great way to start. As Kristen Hunt of GreenMatters.com noted, compost is simply made up of decayed organic matter. This includes things like leaves, eggshells, vegetables, and fruit peels, and more. Over time, these items break down and turn into a nutrient-rich fertilizer. Ooh, original. It turns out that coffee grounds are an essential part of the process. Studies show that when coffee is mixed into compost, especially when worms are present, the nutrient output is much higher. Instead of trashing your grounds, toss them into your compost bin. Your garden will thank you. While granulated sugar is often used in homemade soaps and scrubs to help slough off dead skin, coffee grounds can actually be even more effective thanks to their large grain size. The process is simple. According to SoapQueen.com, all you need is about one teaspoon of coffee grounds per one pound of soap. Once you have gathered the soap and patted it dry, the easiest way to use them is to make melt and pour soap. Heat the bar soap on the stove or in the microwave, and then add the grounds to the liquid mixture. Stir, then pour into a mold of your choosing. Your skin will be healthier and more nourished. Dare I say, soft. Once set, the soap will be chock full of natural exfoliants. It's the perfect way to impress your house guests or share as a DIY gift. The coarseness of coffee grounds also makes them perfect for scrubbing hard to clean pots and pans. Ground to Ground recommends drying out used grounds in the sun and then sprinkling them into your dirty stainless steel pans. After that, use a cloth to move the grounds around, applying a firm but gentle pressure. Just steer clear of nonstick pans, since this strategy could damage the protective cooking surface. This method is great for pans that have stains or stuck on food. While damp grounds can still work, letting them dry completely first helps to break down the granules and turns them into an even better scrubbing tool. Cooking is just more flavorful when it involves onions and garlic. The only problem is chopping up the veg. Not only do onions make many people cry, they also make your hands stink, sometimes for days. An oniony, garlicky aroma is perfect for sauces and sautés, but not so much for your fingers. You'll find thousands of remedies and old wives' tales for this on the internet. But if you ask Emily Hahn of Kitchen, there is one clear winning strategy, coffee. Just grab a handful of used coffee grounds and rub them into your skin and under your fingernails until the offending smell is gone. No matter who you are or how you wear them, everyone's sneakers get stinky. Most of the time, you can only smell them when you're safe at home and take off the shoes. But other times, it gets to the point where the people around you start to pick up on the scent. So what's a stinky-footed person to do? Give me your shoes. It appears that coffee grounds are a terrific natural deodorizer. The cause of sneaker stank is a buildup of bacteria that thrive in the hot, humid environment of your sweaty shoe. To kill this bacteria, simply fill a coffee filter or a nylon stocking with coffee grounds and stuff it into your shoe. Let it rest there for 24 to 48 hours, and voila, your kicks will be fresh and ready to go. No matter how much you love your own cats or the strays from the neighborhood, there is nothing cute about them using the bathroom in your garden. While some animal feces is good for a garden, think horse and cow manure, toxic cat poop will kill your plants and make your vegetables inedible. There are also some garden plants that can be toxic to cats as well, so it's a good idea to keep Fluffy out of your garden altogether. And the solution is in your coffee pot. Sprinkling coffee grounds in the garden not only helps to enrich the soil, but, bonus, it also repulses cats who can't stand the smell. Science has repeatedly shown that coffee grounds are a key ingredient to eliminating odor, including the odd smells in your refrigerator or freezer. Just like with the sneakers, the fix is simple, and you probably have everything you need in your kitchen. Both fridges and freezers have a tendency to trap odors, like broccoli, onions, meat, or just a general staleness from all the different foods stored there. Getting rid of these smells just takes a few minutes of work, though, and a few spoonfuls of coffee grounds. 
According to Lifehacker, after patting some used coffee grounds dry, you can fill a nylon bag or stocking with them or place them in an open bowl. Then situate the grounds in the back of the fridge where they will slowly dry out, making the fridge smell like coffee instead of your leftovers. The de-stinkification process should only take a few days. And in the meantime, you can enjoy the aroma of coffee whenever you get a midnight snack. If you happen to speak Italian, you might know that vermi means worms, and vermicomposting involves composting with worms. Just like composting creates organic materials for soil, vermicomposting can serve the same purpose, or it can ensure that you always have worms to take fishing. Fish on! Fish on! According to experts from Cornell University, adding a layer of coffee grounds to your compost is a fantastic way to attract worms. Earthworms like to eat many of the same types of foods that we do, and it turns out that they are coffee fiends too. The grounds help their gizzards digest the rest of the things they eat, enabling them to produce more nutrient-rich waste to help grow your compost pile. So even if you don't have a garden, you can now add fish bait to your camping trip packing list and set out for the calm, relaxing waters of the nearest lake. When it comes to cellulite, we all have it, and most of us probably wish we could do something about it. What we're seeing are just fat deposits pushing through the collagen beneath our skin and causing dimples and lumps. Still, we all want to look our best, however we can. Luckily, there is a way to minimize those bumps. Caffeine has been proven to reduce the appearance of cellulite by increasing circulation and breaking up those lumps that form under the skin. And this can lead to a smoother, softer looking appearance. Dang, you're smooth. Elle recommends starting with a bit of light exfoliation of your skin. Then mix some coffee grounds with coconut oil to make a heavenly smelling homemade scrub. Make it a part of your regular shower routine to apply the scrub in a circular motion anywhere you have a little cellulite. But it won't hurt to use it all over your body. In no time, you'll be smelling and feeling like a million bucks. Caffeine has been shown to help men, and women as well, regrow lost hair. In a study in which caffeine was applied to the scalps of participants with alopecia, it was shown to enlarge the root of the hair, elongate the growth stage of the hair, and cause the area to produce more keratin for even more growth. Plus, the effects were nearly immediate and long-lasting. Even after almost 200 hours, the hair was continuing to exhibit more growth than the untreated hair. Skeptical? You can try this treatment at home by creating a thick paste made from coffee grounds and the oil of your choice. Then rub the mixture into your scalp for five to 10 minutes and rinse the granules out thoroughly. Follow up with your normal shampoo and conditioning treatments and you're good to go. Looking for the perfect off-white tea? Want to give a stained tablecloth a second life? Well, coffee grounds can be used as an all-natural, environmentally friendly fabric dye. According to Italian coffee brand Gaja, there are two ways to use coffee grounds to dye fabrics, the boiling method and the dry method. Boiling requires heating the grounds and a spoonful of salt and water. Once the water comes to a boil, turn off the heat and immerse the fabric in the water for at least one hour. Rinse with cold water, then put the fabric back in the pot along with some white wine vinegar. 10 minutes later, the fabric will be set and ready to dry. For the dry method, create a coffee paste by combining the grounds with water and mixing well. Spread the paste over the fabric using a wooden spoon to help push the coffee into the fibers. Let the fabric dry in sunlight before brushing off the grounds. With either method, the more coffee you use, the darker the dye will be. Gaja also notes that this method should only be used on fabrics made of natural fibers, such as cotton and wool. Synthetic fibers don't absorb color well, which can result in a splotchy dye job. If you enjoy fireside evenings from the comfort of your own living room, you have likely also experienced the downside of having a wood-burning fireplace, the cleanup. Because the ashes are so light in weight, they often float into the air when you try to collect them. Inhaling these particles is particularly dangerous if you suffer from asthma or another respiratory condition. Good luck, governor. So how does coffee help? Sprinkling coffee grounds inside your fireplace helps weigh the ashes down, preventing them from becoming airborne and ending up in your lungs. It's best if the coffee grounds are damp. This adds more weight and makes the coffee and ashes more likely to stay on the ground. Bonus tip, leaving a layer of coffee grounds in the fireplace after cleanup will help absorb any unwanted odors. If your spice jars are empty but you're craving a steak, look no further than your kitchen counter. Coffee is also an excellent meat tenderizer and marinade. First, the coffee's acidity acts as a natural tenderizer, breaking down the tough muscle fibers of the protein. Those same acidic compounds also pump up the flavor, in the same way a bold-flavored wine does in cooking. Finally, the coffee grounds form a crust around the meat, sealing in the flavor and moisture while it cooks. The end result is a juicy, tender, wonderfully flavored entree. As recipe developer Michelle McLynn told Tasting Table, the best steak I've ever had was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at a supper club, and it had the most delicious crust and was perfectly pink medium on the inside. They achieved that with extremely high temp cooking, far beyond what any home cook can do. This is a really easy way to achieve a similar crust because the sugars and coffee grounds caramelize and crisp so beautifully over the heat. 
No matter how pristine they begin, wooden floors and furniture are bound to get scratched, and professional repairs can be costly. Unless, that is, you have some leftover coffee grounds lying around. Furniture expert Daniel Craig told Homes and Gardens, A little trick I've used is to cover scratches by applying some used coffee grounds with a cotton swab. Let the grounds sit on the scratches for 10 minutes and then wipe away gently. It really works. While it's not going to completely resurface your antique rocking chair, this method helps disguise the lighter-toned scratch marks. Some pros suggest first mixing the coffee with water to make a paste, or steeping the grounds for an hour in equal parts water and vinegar to make a solution that can then be applied to the wood. Whichever way you choose, make sure the color of the coffee matches the wood by first applying the grounds to a concealed area of the furniture or floor.